what I think of when I think of like family and I'm not, I don't know if I want to go here. I don't know if I want to go here because it's, it's, I feel like it's going to sound problematic and that's not what I'm trying to do. But I think when I think of like families and communities being very involved in the dating stage, I think of how families like used to and still do set up their kids with like not their kids, but you know, like their range relationships. Mm hmm. <laughs> Yeah, like it reminds me of that because um I think we think about it in our Western, Western American culture as though it's like this horrible thing. And again, I'm not trying to come from a place of like being super experienced in a culture or something that I don't know much about. So I'm just from what I know, from what I learned, um I think we don't know as much as we think we know in our own culture and we just assume like that just sounds so horrible having arranged relationships or arranged marriages. I think arranged marriages was kind of freaked me out. It's like, I really don't know. You could arrange, like set me up on a date, <laughs> but a marriage, I don't know if I would be so open to that. Um, that's not what I'm suggesting that that's like the way our society goes. But I do think about how families are in other cultures are more engaged, more involved with their children's relationships. And I wonder if that, is also what I'm meaning by getting to know someone better or knowing someone better. But you kind of only know the the accolades, like no, like the family. Oh, this guy is a doctor, and he went to here. Like not they in really all circumstances. Don't. Not in all circumstances. Sometimes that is the case, and especially if the parent doesn't know their kid that well. But in some cases, and and I also don't want to talk like we know every single everything is just black and white. But in some cases, it's like a whole they come up with a whole like itinerary. it's a resume <laughs> not itinerary <laughs> it's a resume but it's like a whole summary of like things that they like to do and mm -hmm. you know hobbies and interests and you know it's like amazon reviews of this person basically but the more you know that person the more you can kind of be in depth so it's not just oh my daughter has a master's and your son has a master they could say they should just be together like you know like it's not so just logical or like you know accolades heavy it's also personality types so and and that can come with its own set of issues you know families feeling like they want to get a leg up and kind of jump the societal hierarchy i'm not saying that that doesn't come with problems even in western culture there were times where families were more involved too not to that degree where we're arranging marriages again i'm not suggesting that but what's the problem with having your families be more involved? Talking to your parents. Hey, mom, like, I'm going through this, that, and the third. What do you think? Our parents have dating experience. No, I do, do think our family should be involved with who we're getting to know, meaning, like, bring them, bring them around to the barbecue yeah. and all that stuff, just because I feel like you have more set of, I don't want to say eyes on this person, but... um. Your cousin may see something that you're not seeing. Your mom may see some quirks that is like, hey, did you notice this? And you probably did, but you're kind of like trying to sweep it under the rug. Mm -hmm. um, wh what do you do when the person that you're trying to get to know is just trying to move faster than you would like? So like, let's say, for example, they want me to go to their family barbecue and I don't want to go. <laughs> yeah or like, vice versa they yeah. want me to meet their parents or they want to meet my parents and i don't want them to yeah i don't know i don't know what i would do let me think um i don't know if i would jump into this is tough dang because i don't think I, I don't know if i would personally want to jump into someone i'm dating meeting my family very soon because i don't want my family like meeting but you're I'm not, not sure dating. you're just getting to know oh okay so i'm just but even still you know family who your little boyfriend he's not my <laughs> boyfriend yet <laughs> he's not my boyfriend um <laughs> family can be so annoying um going faster i would just communicate that and i would communicate what is it like so we're not even in a committed relationship yet but mm. we're just getting to know each other i would communicate like what steps we're at like are we at the step where we want to 
whether it's meeting people's, you know, each other's family or I guess even like committing, because that could be a step that maybe I'm not ready for, but the other person is ready for and just communicating why that is. I mean, but what if we set up our dates like literal play dates as of like a child? So, you know, play date like so literally these two people like these are two classmates in first grade. They don't know each other, but your parent, the parents still be like, hey, little Susie, come over. Wait, like, what? You talking about parents? Setting up? No, but I'm just saying like set it up with that. Like you're with, you're saying like, I barely know this person. So why would I invite him to the family cookout? Oh, just so having it, it more casual. Yeah. Then, yeah, then I guess I wouldn't care. But to, to answer your question, then yeah, maybe I wouldn't care about if, if the narrative was different, if the optics were different in terms of inviting people over for dinner or whatever with my family then i wouldn't care but to answer your question the person i'm talking to wants to move faster than what i want to go i would just communicate and that sounds very cliche or very like surface level so by communicating really getting in depth asking each other questions like why is it that i don't want to move to the step that you want to move to and asking myself those questions is it that i realize maybe i don't want to actually move forward with you or maybe I, I'm still considering moving forward with you. I'm just not at that level yet because of my own stuff. So communication. This person wants to have sex with you. Is, it, is that like a... And I'm not trying to have sex till marriage? Or yeah. um just, Yeah, like you're you. I'm, <laughs> I'm you. I'm me. Okay, I'm me. Um, <laughs> um, this is also odd too because I really have to put myself in the position of like, I'm me at this age and single. Like let's say we're not married, we're single. I feel like I would have a lot more confidence to just say that because yeah. also now I feel that in this stage of my life, I would have a lot more confidence to say what I'm okay with, what I'm not okay with, what my, what I'm doing with my life. When I was just getting into college and first deciding I want to wait till marriage, you know, God was working on me and different things. Um, wasn't fully done working on me, but he was working on me. I, one of the things with, waiting till marriage that i had the dilemma with was who is waiting till marriage Mm -hmm. like i had just been dating someone who that came up and it kind of like you know it didn't work out because of that mainly Mm -hmm. because of that um so i think a part of my struggle was who the heck is waiting till marriage none of the guys that i knew of were waiting till marriage and were even open to it and we're very honest with me. Like, I'm not even talking about guys I wanted to date me. Like, just friends. We're very honest. Like, I'm not waiting with my girl. So, 